Hey, Ryan here again, and today we're talking about editing your eCourse videos using DaVinci Resolve, a free professional video editing program. You just can't escape doing a little bit of video editing for your eCourse videos. And if you're anything like me, trimming isn't enough. I can barely make it through a sentence without making a mistake. Resolve can be a little intimidating. It's used for feature films, so it's got every feature under the sun. But for your eCourse videos, you can stick to the basics, and so I'll show you some of those now. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download Resolve. You can just search for DaVinci Resolve. And click Download. And choose your operating system. You want the non-studio version here. Fill out this form, and then it'll start downloading. Once you've got it installed, start it up. Make a new project. I'm going to call mine Add-ons Tutorial. So this is the default layout. I'm on a smaller monitor here, so things are a bit cramped. I recommend that you click this button here in the top left. That'll make your timeline area here bigger, and that's important. Also, you don't really need these two separate viewers, so click this button in the top right here, this little tiny button. I also find the inspector pretty useful, so I'll open that up. Now what we need to do is get our footage into Resolve. So that's easy, just go over here and drag and drop the files. It may ask you this question. The clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. It just depends on what the settings were in your camera when you recorded the original video. So just go ahead and click change, it's generally what you want. Now this is a video that Sarah made about add-ons, and she recorded the audio separately using a lapel microphone. So we have that file here as well, we're going to drag that into. Finally, since this is a screencast, uh, I do have the screencast here just for demonstration purposes, uh, so we'll drag that in as well. So all you need to do is just pick your camera footage and just drag and drop it onto this bottom area, which is called the timeline. You'll see that it sort of snaps to the left side there, so that means that it's going to start at the very beginning of the video. You can make the audio and video sections uh, different heights here. And I'm going to use that extra space to drop in the separately recorded audio. Now what we want to do is synchronize this separate recorded audio to the video track and be the same as the camera audio. You obviously won't have to do this if you've recorded the audio you know, at the same time as the video inside your camera. So this is just because Sarah's got a separate microphone um, and it's really not, not too hard to do. The basic idea is to line up these waveforms with each other so they look the same and the peaks and the little valleys are all in the same place. So I'm just gonna shorten it up a little bit here because Sarah started recording the audio first and then I'll just drag this around until it looks about right. So you can zoom in to get a more detailed look. Just nudge it around, and it's looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is find a spot where Sarah is looking at the camera and talking, so that we can tell if it's synced up properly. So I'll just scroll over here. Here we go, this looks like she's talking here, yep. And I don't want the original camera audio to be interfering and causing a bunch of you know weird echoes and make it hard to tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute that track, since I don't need it anymore once I've synchronized it anyway, uh, by clicking this M button here on the side. And now I'll just play this clip and see if it looks synchronized. Hi guys, Sarah from Coursecraft here again. Add-ons is one of my very favorite Coursecraft features. Great. You can fiddle with this um, if you tell you're happy with it. Since we don't need that camera audio track anymore, we can just delete it. So right click and choose delete track. Now here's a little important tip. Because this was separate audio, we need to make sure that Resolve thinks that this is belonging to our main video track. Anything we do to one, we want to do to the other, such as cuts or you know fading things out or whatever. It's easy to do that. We just drag a little rectangle, selecting them both. Now just right click 
and choose link clips. All done. Now when you click either one, they both get selected. That's what we want. Let's zoom back out and start finding some good takes. Just scrolling through looking. Don't forget to enjoy your funny freeze frame faces here. It's always entertaining. Okay, so there's a little break here where there's some empty space and Sarah's looking down at her notes. So that suggests to me that what she did last is something she was happy with. So let's just go and take a look at this little clip here. If you click up here in this top area where the numbers, uh, the time codes are, that's gonna place your playhead. And that's also how you know where you are in the video at any given time. So I'm just gonna put it right here at the beginning of that, uh, that little section. And then I just hit the space bar to start playing it. You can also click the play button, of course. Hi guys, Sarah from CourseCraft. So just watch here. the video. Add-ons is one of my very favorite features of CourseCraft. Creating an add-on lets you sell companion products to your course. And that can mean anything from uh, worksheets. Okay, so that obviously wasn't the take we're looking for. Maybe it's just this next bit. Hi guys, Sarah from CourseCraft here. Add-ons is one of my very favorite features of CourseCraft. Creating an add-on lets you sell... This is basically how it goes. You kind of just look through your own footage. Uh, you'll remember some things sheets, about your recording of it, since it's generally going to be you editing your own footage. One -on -one consulting hours. And, we've just added the and you won't find to it too hard to find the good parts. As an add-on for your course now. Um, I recently did a Facebook Live tutorial. This is looking good here. I think this is what we'll use. Craft your life. There's a link in the description if you want to join too. And it went over really well. So I thought I'd create a video to show you exactly how to make add-ons and what to sell. Perfect. So now we just need to cut this out. Here's the easiest way to do it. Click back in the top area there to position the playhead at the start. Then we're going to use the blade tool. You can get to that either with this icon here or just pushing the B key on your keyboard. Razor edit mode, they call it. And now just click. Because the playhead's there, the cut will automatically snap to where the playhead is. You don't have to be very precise. Just click near, just click on the playhead. So there we go, cut at the beginning. Now we just scrub over to the end. If you want to fine tune this, you can use the arrow keys to nudge around the playhead one frame at a time. And then when you're happy, you just click again to cut there. Now go back to the selection tool, which is the arrow here or the A key. And now you can see you've got a separate clip with just that part of the footage in it. Now here's a fun trick. You just click on the old stuff, hit the delete key, now click again in the empty space and hit the delete key again. That just removes all the, all the empty space at the beginning. So now that clip we wanted is at the very beginning of the video. Hi guys, Sarah from CourseCraft here. Now let's just do that again. I happen to know this is another good take that I want here. So there we go. Cut it out. Click the part we don't want, delete, click in the empty space, delete again. And there you go. Now we have two clips with just the good takes. Just for the purposes of this demo, uh, I'll keep things short and we'll get rid of all the rest of this footage here. Obviously in your real video, you would go through and get all the good takes and put together the whole thing. So that's the gist of it. You just put in your footage, sync up your audio if you need to, go through and cut out all the bad stuff, keep only the good stuff. You can rearrange things, drag and drop things to be before or after the things. You can play with it all you need to, to get your video pretty much the way you want. So let's move on to a couple little niceties. Let's say you want to add a slide over top of the video. Uh, you can do that to hide a cut perhaps, or just to give some more visual interest and some more information. So I have a little example slide here. Just drag and drop that right under the timeline. When you hover over the edges, you get these little tools, these little, these little resize tools, and that'll just change the length of time that slide is over top of the video. So I'll just tighten this up a little bit. Make 
Now it can be a little bit jarring for it to just appear out of nowhere. So a nice little trick is that if you hover over it, you'll see these little white doodads in the top left and right. And you can just drag those a little. And watch what happens now. It'll fade in and fade out. Add-ons and what to sell. In this video, I'll be talking about each type Perfect. of add-on you can... Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's put Sarah's name in the bottom left corner when the video starts. This could be especially useful if you're doing an interview of some, some sort. Go up here to the effects library and choose titles. There is a generic just text, which you can do whatever you want with, but sometimes it's easiest just to go with the built-in, you know, lower third. Drag that in, click on it, and over here in the inspector, you'll see all the stuff you can do with it. So I'll type Sarah's name here, and in the bottom one, I'll put that she's co-founder of CourseCraft. And uh, let's, let's, let's tweak the fonts here. CourseCraft's font is called Proxima Soft. If I can figure out my alphabet here. Semi-bold. And then same down here, we'll use medium. Now let's make Sarah's name bigger. Eh, not that big. There we go. And just like before, you can tweak how long that text will be on screen for by just dragging the edges. Hi guys, Sarah from... I'm going to place it here where she says her name. Hi guys, Sarah from CourseCraft here. Add-ons is one of... Just play with it till you're happy. Now it is big, but it'd be nice if it was a little more attention-grabbing. So I have a little ding sound here we can put right as the text comes on screen. Just drag and drop that. Hi guys, and Sarah from CourseCraft here. Fantastic. Add-ons is one of my very favorite features of CourseCraft. So remember, you can just do that as much as you need to. You can put slides on top, you can put text on top, you can, you can do whatever you want. Make it interesting. So again, now this is a screencast video, so I would normally want to drop that screencast here. You can just drop a clip like you would any other file onto the timeline here, so drag and drop. And you can cut that up the same way that. you would your regular footage. And so there we go, we have a screencast happening. So for now, and for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to delete this. Um, it makes the video a lot longer, so we don't need that right now. So now we need to export this. We need to get this file out so we can upload it to CourseCraft. So click the Deliver tab. And again, my screen's a bit small here, so everything's a bit cramped. Uh, click this little doodad on the top left to make the settings on the left bigger. I recommend choosing the YouTube 1080p preset. Um, it's just a good, good standard set of, uh, set of settings. I like to change the quality here to automatic best. Audio, it's fine as is. And I'll give it a name, add-ons tutorial. Then we click this browse button, which is going to decide where this file will go. You can choose your desktop or whatever, but I'm just going to choose this directory here. Then you click this Add to Render Queue button. That's going to put it over here on the right. The reason it's like this is because you could make a YouTube 720p, you could make a Vimeo version, you could make another custom version and add them all in a big list here. And then when you click Start Render, it'll do them all at once. You don't have to keep coming back and changing the settings and clicking Render again. So this way you can queue up all the outputs you need, all the files you want to make. In this case, it's just the one. And then click Start Render. And now you just wait. Depending on how long your video is and how fast your computer is, this could take a long time or it could be quick. We'll just give it a few minutes. There you go, it's all done. If we go over to the directory here, you'll see, there it is. Hi guys, Sarah from CourseCraft here. There we here. go. Add-ons is one of my very favorite features of CourseCraft. Creating an add-on lets you... 
Okay, I hope you found that useful. Doing some simple video editing is a great way to add some polished to your course videos. So give it a try. As always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more videos like this planned.